Alright, hello everyone, Rex here, and today I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. This is an RPG mainly inspired by the Paper Mario series, which is a series I've always been interested in, but never actually truly tried. I think I tried like the first half hour or something of the first Paper Mario game, and that's about it. I've also heard that the Paper Mario series itself has very much gone downhill in its later entries. Um, but then there was also the Origami King trailer that released recently, which made me think, you know what, I really should try out this game, because the developer publisher were kind enough to provide me with a press key for this, um, but I never made the time for this, I never got around to actually checking it out. So we're going to check it out on stream now. So uh, let's start our game now. Uh, we'll start a new quest and uh, we'll see what this is all about. Uh, a file name? I guess I'll just go with Raxby. I'm not sure if this is a character name or just a file name so we know which file this is. If you play with your siblings or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with Raxby. Should be fine. Ah, the land of Bulgaria. A peaceful, prosperous place. Where many adventurous bugs gather. Although, it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bul Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet, the queen's dream had still not been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded the treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than... Bug Spray. The Everlasting Sapling, a plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. So she dead. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people to get her under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling, and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure. Even though to this day the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. And hey, Pertil, welcome to stream. How are you doing today? Or at least, those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they're not mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Then, Sir Maki, would you consider my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. I'm thrilled. I'm tired. Just did a six hour stream while wearing a fursuit head plus pause. But was fun. Uh, yeah, that does sound li like those can get pretty hot, I've heard. Uh, I don't have any experience myself personally, but yeah, I've heard those can get hot and I already get tired from like a regular six hour stream so I can only imagine but uh good it was fun and hey Tobias welcome how are you doing unproven Maki I've bested many hardships in the north or so you say your knowledge of her culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge Kabu but I would ask you to not press the issue this is not the place to cause a scene what care to say that again I need to remember to drink water. Definitely, always ma make sure to hydrate. Uh, I'm doing quite well. Um, haven't really streamed in a bit. Work's been busy, so I, I just get tired during the week. Um, 
But yeah, now it's weekend again, so I figured a stream would be nice. As I said, we cannot allow the children to explore, much less snake mouth then. I'm not a kid! So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It's my duty to investigate. Mm, well, if you insist. Oh, okay, so I use the D-pad to move around, press A to jump or talk to people. Oh, so we play as this guy. I thought we were going to play as the B for some reason. Edo B, lower your voices. What's the matter? This guy's calling me a kid. Says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. Shut it. It's not about age. It's about skill. I'm V, the best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee? Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Expected honey and paint? I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee. Much less without a partner. Team should be a duo of explorers, you know? I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey, V. What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lack a companion. What, do I look that desperate? I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, can be worse than having to say put. Deal. Wait, you two are crazy. You won't last a second at Snake Mouth. I'll prove you wrong. I love his little face. Like the brackets to the inside and then the squiggly mouth line. It's it's a great expression, V. No, you're both most likely mere novices, ruled by your strong emotions. I've no doubt that if you left today, you would return inside a bag. Sir Maki, although you outranked me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? The Ant Queen herself, for she has knighted me as her royal blade. I accept your challenge. Fee, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. Alright, so I guess we're getting our tutorial battle here. Ooh, some pretty, pretty good music. I suggest bug fables. Hey, Soda. Uh, not sure if I can get around to Bug Fables. You might have to wait a while for that suggestion, to be honest. M might, might be a little bit. How are you doing today? Okay. Uh, would you like to refuse some combat tips? Uh, sure. Bruh, I spent all my points on it. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to save up some points watching this stream of some random game instead. Is the audio levels fine, by the way? Because I feel like this battle music just got loud. But I'm not sure if it's, like, too loud. You guys will have to let me know. Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen, we can both from one action per round. Be it attacking, using an item, etc. It's not loud at all? Okay, that's good. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Oh, that's pretty neat. So you can hold stuff. And nice wasting of the points, Tobias. Always a good time to waste points. Holding button lame. Look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my Beamerang. Oh, there we go. Right. So we hit it when it's in the green. See, we're doing great. Don't let your guard down, V. After our turn ends, the enemy is next. I know, and if I press A at the right time... Pressing A a bit before an enemy hits you reduces damage received. Okay, so yeah, it is like... Active... Combat. Which I know from like the Mario and Luigi series, which I've played a few of. With perfect timing, you'll reduce even more damage. Okay, well, you know, I'm not sure how well I will do. I was considering getting this on the Switch when it comes out. When is the Switch release? Do you know? Oh, what the heck? You trying to kill us or something? 
Hmm, if you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Go home and guard Honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ah, now I'm mad. We should pay him back tenfold. It's time for us to use a skill. They're just like decks. We just select them from the yellow flower. Skills require us to use our teamwork points though, so watch out for how many we have left. I think within a week or so. Oh, well that's definitely very soon. And Stardew Valley as a game suggestion. I have played that before. I do own that. Um, may have to give that a try sometime. Six days. Okay, well. That's cool. Maybe I'll try to post this vod like the day it comes out on Switch. Get, get really into that. Getting those views with the right timing. We should patch your wounds too, using items from the blue flower. Okay, so toggle between commands. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so we can attack. We can use items. We can use skills. Okay, so we took one damage. So I don't really feel like I need to use an item. Crunchy leaf, yeah. Okay, so let's see what skills we have. Tornado toss. Tosses the beamerang in a circular motion. multi hit move that targets a single enemy. Let's try it out. Okay, so you have three times that you can get hits in. Interesting. Okay, what skills do you have? Taunt. Making them focus on attacking Kaboo for this turn. I'm not that worried about Kaboo getting hit. Okay, well I messed that one up. Still gonna, gonna have to get used to things a bit. Oh nice, and then it gets gets us an extra hit since we did it that many times. There we go. That was better. Oh, we took a bit of damage there. But I guess that's battle over. Such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You perform well enough. I can feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I'm no one to keep I'm I am no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Edel, you may grant it to them. I get no saying this, huh? But Maki is the Queen's Blade. Here, you can have it. Ooh, nice, we get an explorer's permit. I did it! Snake Mod Den is going to be all mine. All the riches, all the glory. Snake Mod Den, it lies to the west of the association. A simple path, although filled with danger. There's much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Maki! Not worried about that bug, it's an anime pr protagonist with its oversized sword. Yeah, but it seems to be on our side, so we're all good. This reminds me a lot of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, Maybe, I mean, we, we are working like from a guild, apparently, so I guess that that's similar to a Mystery Dungeon. Although I think the dungeons themselves aren't going to be like randomly generated and such. So like, thematically, yes, gameplay probably not so much. Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kina. V, Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. Alright, cool. We'll uh, have to try. What a weird bunch. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess. How many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess. From the hive near the big tree. Ah, oh, I'm Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago from the north. Cool. Indeed. Uh, Sir Maki said Snake Mud was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah, let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, hey, hey wait, you too. Something wrong? You know what the goal of Snake Mud Expedition is, right? Uh, no. What? You'd go there without knowing anything? It's like asking to perish. Shishi, they'll just say it. Your goal is to find an ancient artifact that's fabled to be inside Snake Mud Den. Many tried, but no one ever found it. Most never came back. I don't know what the Queen wants with that, but she's very determined to find it. We will find it. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm on the case after all. 
This is what worries me. I enjoy the characters? Yeah, the characters do seem fun so far. Chapter 1, a dysfunctional trio. Uh, well, there's just two of us. Unless they're calling me dysfunctional as the player. That's a little bit rude. Change the party leader by pressing X. You can check your inventory stats and other things by pressing start. So yeah, we can walk around this either of the two. I'm not sure if it really matters who is in the lead. It might just be aesthetic. And then we can press start to check stuff. Okay, so we do have damage still. And our TP didn't get restored. The bee is cutest. The bee is the cute one for sure. Let's see. So we have crunchy leaves. Uh, and we have our explorer's permit. And that's all that we have. It looks like we just have one inventory. Not an inventory per character or anything. Medals and stats. Not really sure what that does. Looks like our stats are pretty similar, just Kabu having more HP. Library? What's this? Information about various things you've seen on your journey. So discoveries, bestiary, recipe book, records, and quest list. So these are like achievements. Recipe book? I'm not sure what that means yet. And bestiary, I wonder if the one we just fought is going to be in here. Is there any way to scroll faster? It doesn't look like it. Maybe eventually your party members have out of combat abilities for exploring? Maybe, that would be cool if they do. I'm not sure how many there are going to be. You know what, I, I don't really want to go all the way through. And the settings is just settings. Okay, so you you have something important to say, I guess. Hmm. Pom says he was, he was at least kind of to test us. Ah, uh, okay. Such a show. I shall change him to a duel. Well, may maybe not a duel to the death. Uh, of course, kidding. Just jesting. That's how it was in Paper Mario? Okay, well, that that's cool. We'll, we'll have to look forward to that. Okay, so what, what do you have to say? Phew, finally done. Some of this work just doesn't stop coming. Uh, okay, who are you again? Excuse me, I'm artist, and I keep this place running. Oh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, yeah, thanks. So you two face Maki, eh? Bet you found it a tad too easy. You know it. Huh, I see you a lot like challenge. One sec, I have this one thing. Please take it. You got the hard mode medal. Boosts enemy strength, but gives you more experience and rewards. That's actually a really cool idea. So you can just play on hard mode, and you get more experience and better rewards, but encounters are tougher. These artifacts help you by giving you different effects. To equip them, go into the pause menu and select medals. Okay, uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not gonna go for a hard mode right away, um, but that's a cool idea, I like that. What's this, a medal? Let's say it should make things more interesting for you. The higher the risk, the higher the reward, as they say. If you defeat any powerful enemies while wearing it, come see me, alright? I won't send it to free stuff, you've got a deal. Thank you for entrusting us with it. Take care, artists. Save exploring, folks. Remember to check in every now and then. Apparently you get more rewards as well if you... then... talk with this equipped? I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Can we check this board? We can't. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll leave. Oh, hey, there wasn't even... Like, that is so smooth. I thought there was gonna be, like, a loading screen or something. Nope. Just straight out into here. Okay, let's see if anyone says anything interesting. Oh, they actually want to talk. Hey, why are you hitting a crystal? You could break it, you know. Huh? You really don't know? Just tell us why. Give my partner, Celia. Her mouth is most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct. They can store the record of previous travelers. If you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will even heal your wounds. You expect me to believe that? That awesome stuff for hitting a rock? Huh. You're one of little faith. Come on, Levy. Show him. Ah, that's cool. So we have save points that also heal, which are going to be these crystals. This must sell for a fortune. 
All you'll get for this crystal is prison time. And thank you for the host soda, I appreciate it. Only the Ant Queen can authorize placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, they are too heavy to be carried by a single bug. There goes that idea. Yeah, you have frog car notification. Yeah, I love the frog car for uh, hosts and raids. Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, Fee. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Alright. So we can't get past that. Can we talk with you? No, we can walk through you. Everything is flat as well, which is definitely very much Paper Mario. If this is clean too, we will lose money. I understand my wife's upset, but there's nothing we can do until the rocks are cleared. Huh, I should have gone into the city earlier. I have to wait until this mess is cleared. And thank you for the host as well, Perthil. Appreciate it. Heave ho, heave ho. Okay, so that's definitely a lot of rocks that we can't really get past. We can jump up here. But that doesn't seem to do much. I guess we can't really get past there. Okay, we can go over here. Oh, what's this sign? North to the Ant Kingdom, west to Snake Mud Way, and south to the Golden Path. Wait, what's this? There's like a four-leaf clover here. Oh, doesn't look like we can actually do anything with it. Might just be scenery. Game looks really nice. Yeah, visually, this, this game is great. Visually, I like the music so far as well. I thought the battle music was a very good theme. So yeah, presentation they've nailed. Definitely want to see a bit more of the actual combat before I judge on that too much. Also, that was a random light beam. The path ahead leads to Snake Mount 10. Currently only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Uh, yeah, I do. Hmm, alright, this checks out. Open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. I'll probably end up getting this on Switch. Alright, nice. Well... Glad uh, I could show it off then. Okay. So, I did see what's presumably an enemy. I was wondering if I could jump on it to do some damage going into the fight. Um, but we weren't able to. Anyway, we have a seedling here. And we just murder it. That was pretty easy. Six exploration points. Is that like experience points then? Probably is. So six out of 100. Oh yeah, exploration points. XP. Uh, makes sense. Uh, so we just have that medal, of course. And now we should have you in a bestiary? No? You would think Seedling is like enemy number one. Or maybe we need to do something else to actually get them in a bestiary other than just see them in a fight? Hmm. Well, for now, let's just keep going. And we have a flying Seedling here. Which is still just called Seedling. And we drop it down. Still dies after 5 damage. I guess you could say you squash them like a bug. And the metal icon looks like a Mario M. I like that the boomerang is your weapon. Yeah, boomerang is a pretty cool starting weapon. That that does definitely look like a Mario M. Oh, what's this? Is it egg? What is it? Can I go over there? I can't go down there, so I don't know what I just picked up. But it might be currency or something. Hey, like attacking up close? Annoyed when an enemy is out of reach? Ask a friend who can fly or toss something to bring it down. Press X to switch positions in battle and attack. Hmm. I mean, we don't really need to switch positions. I don't really see the 
point in doing that? Oh, I messed that up. It was still enough to kill. I do notice that we're only seemingly getting experience at the end of a fight and not any money or item drops. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. I think I was trying to say in case you had Beetle Dude up front. Oh yeah, that's actually possible. I'm guessing if Beetle Dude would be up front, that he would move first. That's pretty interesting if that's the case. That whoever you have out in front in a battle is the one. Yeah, because he can't actually... Like, we can't actually move over to attack the other enemy here. Oh, I definitely messed up that timing. As well as that timing. There we go. Still got him. The round white probably cannot attack flying bugs. Yeah, he he, he definitely can't. And uh, hey, B mod, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Paper Mario had something similar. Okay. Wait, I want that. So yeah, if we press X, then we switch around. But they already told us that earlier. So already a repeating tutorial. I guess you know it's early early days, so I, it's fine. Because coins would drop after a battle like that? Okay, well, yeah, that, that shows how little I've played Paper Mario that I don't really know that. Okay, so we should go after this flying one first. Okay, and then... Oh, we can't even attack the back one. Like, it doesn't matter that the other one's not flying. We still aren't allowed to attack it because it's... I guess in the back row. It's pretty interesting. Oh, I mistimed that horribly. That's how it works in Paper Mario 2. Can detect the back one. Let's find several new things when you come back to Twitch. What did you discover on Twitch this time? Upon coming back. Because I, I know Twitch did like a UI redesign somewhat recently. Channel points thing. Oh yeah, the channel points thing is relatively new. And it's only there for affiliates and partners. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a pretty cool idea. Um, although you need to come up with actual good rewards. And hello, Minikins. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything alright? Hey, Kaboo. We're supposed to be adventuring. Snake but then? Endless riches? Sorry, Fi. I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. Doing well? That's great to hear. So you're considering streaming again because this quarantine is murder? You definitely should stream. I would watch. Stream Nightmare. That was always a good time. I love channel points. I've been using them for fun stuff over on my channel. What have you been using them for, Pertil? I I'm curious. I can always use more ideas. First of all, my name's Chuck. And I bet I'm younger than both of you. But if you gotta know... I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mud Den. I just can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, snake mode is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling. At least not for free. Hmm, watch this, V. If I rest be near small bushes or rocks. Ooh, we cut it. That's cool. Oh, nice. Something like this is no match for my horn. Hobby, you actually helped me. This made my week. You've got a reward ready, right? But Fee, helping others is already its own reward. And you didn't do anything. It's really, really not. Oh, no worries. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. Ten berries. All right. 
berries, so many berries! Use them to buy something nice later, alright? I guess that confirms that it's currency. When I have cam dabbing, Freddy time makes me bring out my rainbow giraffe Freddy. Purring on demand, I can purr. Okay, well those 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 are all gonna be hard for me to do as rewards. <laughs> when I draw modify the current drawing, I will draw whatever they tell me to. But those are all like good good ideas though for, for channel rewards. In TV is acting up, if I use my rewards towards my TP, nothing happens. But if I aim at my mirror, it works. Huh. That is weird. That is really weird. I, I have no idea why that would happen. Like maybe the light reflects better off the mirror so it increases the signal strength or something. I don't know. Thank you. We surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you're near something that can be interacted with the, the horn, a green exclamation mark that's not very friendly to read will show up over the party leader's head. Definitely hope that is a bit more friendly to read than it shows up now. Okay, it, it works when it's in a speech bubble. But how it was in the text bubble we saw before, it was pretty bad. A honey drop restores 5 TP. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, what? Wait, did we go to the right place? Want to know more about the enemies you're fighting? Don't forget you can use Spy using the strategies menu during battle. Oh, well, I didn't know about that. I'll tell you my government secrets. One million points. Uh, I, I think one million points would take forever. I think what they say is that a non-sub gets like 200 points or something per hour watched so a, a sub would get double of that but still 1 million points would take you a long time one no more okay right we, we read that actually and I can just cut all of these it doesn't really do much though we just ruin all of the plants in this area for no real reason no real benefit Oh, hey, we can hit you. Does that mean you start... You start with attack 2x. That's interesting. Um... That still didn't kill, though. Oh, wait, we get two attacks. Okay, I, I like that. That's what it means. I thought it was gonna, like, make my attack two times as powerful. But no, we instead get two attacks, which is still cool. I have to choose a game instead of suggest a game at 10k points. You can figure how many points one gets. Not sure if there's a limit. Can you configure how many points one gets? Because from what I saw, it's set how many people get. You can just change how much things cost. But... Yeah, may maybe there is like. Wait, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna just get you down now because the other guy can't get you down. Ten points every five minutes, and two times for subs. I think yeah, it's something like that. Okay, let's do strategies, and I want to spy on you. Hmm, it seems this land has seedlings as well. Okay, so they have 4 HP, 0 defense. We've seen 9, defeated 8. Because this one is alive, of course. They plague many fields and have no qualms devouring crops. Although weak and puny in comparison to me, their flying variation is troublesome. As I can't reach it. I have to ask Fee for help. Okay, so that's interesting, I guess. Now 50 from time to time that you can click. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, I, I did think about doing like choose a game, but I figured suggest a game works a bit better because there might be games that I can't or for whatever reason wouldn't want to play. Um, and then I, I don't give any promises I can keep. And in return, I make it like a bit cheaper. I kind of want to get that purple flower or purple. Wow, am I that colorblind? Am I literally that colorblind that I think that's purple? 
Uh, that white flower with the red in the middle. Maybe choose a genre? Uh, I could I could do that. Because within genres. But then people would pick random games and I would still hate myself. Uh, so <laughs> I think for now I'll just leave the suggest. And I'll see how many I can do. But there's not going to be any guarantees. I thought you were talking about the berries and I was going to give you a pass. <laughs> You know, I, I could have tried to play it off. But no, no, I, I was just being an idiot. This is it, Snake Mouth Den. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to the rumors I've heard, it's the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song I've been reading about it have been written about its dangers. F for real? Its interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters and death traps. We must be extremely cautious. And thank you, Minikins, for the follow. I appreciate it. Jeez, wait, sell it to me, Kabu. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. Hmm. It's true that the artifact is likely to be inside. But are simple riches worth such a risk to you? Stop trying to scare me off. Let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Oh, it's a she. I had no idea about either of their genders up to this point. Um, but V is a she. Which I guess makes sense. Wait, does that make sense? How do bees work? How do bee genders work? The queen is obviously female. Are the other bees just like random? Whether they're male or female? Or is there like one that's more common? I like your emotes. Thanks. Glad, glad you like them. I figured I'd add a few like... Uh, Better Twitch TV, Frank or Face C ones. And then of course I have the one custom one, which I like. Did you ever play Minish Cap? I have played Minish Cap. Minish Cap is a good game. I kind of want to try that on stream at some point as well. Because it's been a while since I've played played it, but it, it is a good game. Let's just cut all these bushes. I'm not sure if it's going to do anything for us at any point, but might as well. Doesn't seem to hurt me so far. And there's nothing really else over here. There's no real music, just this slow trickling of water. And we find a crystal berry. These are rare items sought by collectors. Huh. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay, let's save. And we should be healed up as well. Yeah, nice. 